Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can run Minecraft 1.8.9 fast with absolutely zero lag. Now, this tutorial does use Optify, but don't fret, there's an Optify tutorial right above my head that will show you exactly how to install Optify and get it up and running to be set up, which is what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to walk you through all the settings and explain them and things like that in this video. I'm also, however, going to show you some other tips for improving your performance in Minecraft uh, right at the start without Optifine. So first and foremost, when you're in the Minecraft launcher, you need to hit edit profile here and then go to your resolution. The lower this number, the better performance. However, I wouldn't recommend going lower than 640 by 480. Also, if you're having any issues with Minecraft running slow, definitely, definitely, definitely off the start. You need to just realize that you're not going to be able to play full screen. Full screen is something that's not going to be accomplished for you. So I would recommend starting at 640 by 480 and increasing that until you can play Minecraft comfortably without any lag or right before the lag starts. Does that make sense? For anyway, this tutorial, I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p, because you guys need to be able to see stuff. After that, you want to come down here, make sure your release 1.8.9-optifine is selected. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and save profile and then click play, launching into Minecraft. Now, I'm not done with tips outside of Optifine yet, but we have to wait for Minecraft to open and so I can continue them. Once it is open, you want to right click on your taskbar. It could be at the top like mine or most likely at the bottom, but wherever it is doesn't matter. Right click on it, go to properties, and then, no, I'm sorry, not properties. Right click on it, go to task manager. And then you want to go show more details right here. So more details, click that. Then scroll down in background processes until you see Java, which you will see right here. Now, for me, it's not there. As you can see, I've only got one Java process running. For many of you, that might be the case. Or for some of you, you might have another Java process running that's using, I don't know, anywhere between 50 to 100 megabytes of RAM. That's not needed. It's just the Minecraft launcher being pesky in the background. So just right click on that and end the task. Now if I click it on the big one, and same thing for you, this one that's using almost half a gigabyte of RAM, that one is going to shut down Minecraft, which we don't want to do. So make sure there's a smaller one and then delete that if you have it. Nevertheless, we don't, so we're going to move on. The last tip outside of Optifine is these little pesky things right here. They're called resource packs, and while I agree they are freaking amazing, we have to disable them for running with a bad computer and running with no lag, because guess what? They take more memory to use than, uh, than no resource pack. Sadly. Sucks, but it's true. Nevertheless, we are now ready to start setting up Optifine. So go into video settings, and once you're here, we want to basically go through and turn everything as low as it possibly can. So we want graphics on fast. We want render distance on tiny. We want smooth lighting off. We want frame rate unlimited, so I can see how much frame rate this gives me. For you, you might have better success for limiting your frame rate at about 30 FPS. Don't go lower than 30. Nevertheless, unlimited frame rate for now. Smooth lighting level off. View bobbing on or off. It doesn't perform like at all to affect performance. GUI scale probably needs to be small, in all honesty. That's going to give you the best performance. However, I'm doing a tutorial and you guys need to be able to see this stuff, so we're going to leave it on auto. User VBOs needs to be on. Brightness does not affect performance really, so on or off as bright as you want it. Alternative blocks needs to be off. Fog off. Fog start doesn't matter because the fog is off. Shaders, nothing in here. Quality needs to then be minimap levels zero. It doesn't actually matter, guys. Um, Androscopic filtering needs to be off. anti aliasing needs to be off. Clear water off. Random mobs off. Everything in here needs to be off. That's basically what it comes down to. And if you have the option of fancy or fast, it needs to be fast, but connection textures are off. Custom items, guess what? That one can be left on. That's the only one that can be left on is custom items. But we're going to turn it off. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's move on to details. These are pretty easy to figure out because you can't turn them off, so you got to turn them on fast. So let's do this. Cloud height needs to be off, by the way. Stars off, sky off, sun and moon off, showcase off, off, off. These can be left on. doesn't perfect performance at all. But nevertheless, everything else needs to be fast or off. And then now, we can move on to performance. In performance, smooth FPS probably needs to be on. If, however, you're still lagging after all of this, come back in and turn it off, and you might have better performance. But usually, smooth FPS on is what you're looking for. Smooth world needs to be on. Fast math needs to be on. Fast render needs to be on. And uh, chunk updates needs to be 
one. <laughs> I was going through and I was like, should I make it six? No, I'll do it one. Uh, what one will do is make it faster. I was going to do it for me because it loads more around you. But nevertheless, dynamic updates needs to be on. What this means is when you're standing still looking forward, it's doing more rendering than when you're moving. This makes it a little easier on uh, on your computer. Lazy chunk loading needs to be on as well. I do want to come back here and say something on fast render. If you see screen flickering or something like that, come turn fast rendering off. That's most likely the cause of it. Moving on, we now have animations. For animations, it's easy. Click all off and you're done. Other in here, nothing really matters except the autosave. The autosave is very important. You also want to make sure full screen is off. But the autosave can be up to 30 minutes in Optifine. Now that means you could lose 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. I don't know about you, but I can't handle losing 30 minutes of work in Minecraft. So I always set mine to 3 minutes. Full screen mode, oh god. I could, as you can see, I could run Minecraft at 4K if I wanted to, but we'll just leave that default. So autosave, three minutes, and then we are done. Now, I might not get like crazy FPS, or I could get out of the world FPS. It really just depends. So I'm gonna launch into two worlds here. This one being my uh, whatever it's called, my world that I used to do a let's play on. It is a mega biome, right? Like mega hills. Like there's tons of stuff going on here. So if we hit F3 we can see that I'm getting 300-ish FPS. Now, if I was to go ahead and crank up the render distance on this, it's going to go down, but not even a lot, right? For me, it's not even a crazy amount that it goes down. It's still about 150. Now, if we go ahead, we'll turn this back down and launch into a different world. So we save and quit and launch into, we'll just do this creative world. It's just a normal world, gen, nothing crazy about it. Launch into this world, our FPS is a as you saw, it was 1,000 there for a second. Now it's at 700. By the way, the FPS is located right here. It's fluctuating between 300 to 700 FPS, and that is on tiny render distance. If we go ahead and up this to where I normally play, which is about 25, you can see that it drops to about 200 to 300 FPS. So anyway, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This should now be making Minecraft run incredibly fast for you. I hope it does. It does for me. I, I will sometimes use I will now be using Optifine to actually make my graphics better. Not get better FPS, but get worse FPS. But that's beside the point. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make awesome Minecraft and tech and gaming videos every Monday through Friday, every weekday. So, anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games yet again, and I'm out. Peace.